Okay, here we are. First burn. Wood gas stove. Can't see the holes right there. Let's see if I can turn it around and see how hot it is. Oh, it's pretty daggone hot. There we go. Now you can see some holes there. The rest of them are on the inside can. I don't know if it's enough, but followed some videos on YouTube. Uh, what you're looking at there, if I can hold it still, sorry, it's my phone. Um, looking at a uh, one gallon, uh, one quart paint can. It was, uh, I don't know, $1.79 to two bucks, something like that. And inside it is a Progresso pop top soup can. Cut the bottom off of the paint can with a can opener, and the Progresso can fits perfectly, wedges into the, the lip where the paint can lid fits, except for underneath, you know, there's a an inner lip, and it fits perfect up in there. Uh, no cutting, no flanges, no bending and forcing, uh, you know, just drilled a bunch of holes, uh, which, you know, could probably do better at. I did it with a Dremel and a small drill bit, so the holes aren't that pretty, and it took me forever. But if this works, then I know that it's worth it, and next time... Actually, you can already see. I don't know if you can see it there. Let me see if I can zoom in. I guess not. Um, you can see, uh, if you look there, flames coming out of the holes, separate flames. Maybe you can see it if I do it that way. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can see it. Um, I'll look at this later and, and see. But... Uh, Basically, the wood gas is, is coming in from the, the uh, chamber between the two cans, coming in the holes at the top of the inner can and, and burning off. And it uh, makes a nice flame. I mean, I, you know, all I did was put a handful of hickory chips and a couple of sticks and a, a watered up piece of paper in there, and it just, you know. Uh, it smelled kind of funny for a few minutes, had to, and it was smoky, had to burn off the... Uh, lining in the paint can, but uh, so far so good. We'll see. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Okay, here we are. Post, uh, post burnout. Let's see if I can get the light down in there so you can see that. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Let's see. There's a little bit of it. You can see the holes down there. Kind of hard to see. See some of the holes in the top here. There you go, kind of different sized. But uh, as you can see, she's been thoroughly, there you go, that's a little better, huh? Oh. Thoroughly uh, burned in and tested and not really much the worse for wear. Um, you know, about 30 minutes later, it was cool to the touch, maybe 45 minutes. Uh, and you know, of course, I dumped the ashes out, what little there were, and boom. There's our stove. Very pleased, actually. Knocked it up in there. It's not going anywhere. You know, so she's ready for the field. Gonna take her out tomorrow on a hike and uh, see if I can't uh, boil up some water. See if it's quicker and easier than uh, making a fire. And I think it will be. So, alrighty. Another. Uh, Another do-it-yourself project, fairly uh, fairly successful. Oh, and by the way, I have uh, you can see over there. I have another can that uh, so I can make another one. So there you go. I think I might put a few more holes in the next one. So, but anyways, do-it-yourself uh, wood gas stove, easy peasy. Thanks.
Okay, one last, uh, one last installment or clip on my my wood gas stove video. Um, I went and bought some hard hardware cloth this morning at Lowe's, and uh, you know you can see this. Uh, it was too long, so I uh, so I uh, cut it off. I used. This bad boy here, this is a uh, little cutting wheel for this Dremel, uh, which uh, I got this Dremel with the box and all, uh, several accessories for about, uh, I think it was $15 at the, at the hardware store. Uh, the other side flips open and has more stuff in it. And then I bought a uh, accessory kit for uh, five bucks that had... Uh, uh, you know, a, a stack of cutoff wheels and all these uh, buffing pads and uh, brushes, and it was just a general purpose kit. So, anyways, let's uh, let me pause here and I'll show you the finished product. Or, well, maybe I can do it with one hand. Let's see how easy it is. Almost, and boom. There we are. There's your stove. So the idea being, you can still uh, you can put a pot on it, which I don't have one handy, but let's use this. There you go. So there you are cooking, and you can still feed uh, sticks in because you know a wood gas stove uh, you know uses very small material and does need to be fed. So, anyways, uh, just comes right off, and then when you're not using it. It goes right up in here, like so, and then your lid, you know, and you can put, uh, you know, if you want to store some hickory chips or, or some, uh, maybe an emergency alcohol burner and a couple ounces of fuel or your fire kit or anything down in the stove, you can, because you got a lid, and uh, there you go. Do-it-yourself wood gas stove. Bada bing.